Hey, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw shop. We're out here in the shop tonight, and I want to put together a small project for you. Now, there's not a lot of challenges in this project. Uh, it's just basically a little small heart-shaped box with some decoration on top. And I'll zoom in here in a minute and give you a closer look at it. But the reason behind this project is that I received an email from one of my readers, and uh, he was trying to design his own patterns using Corel Draw. And as many of you know, that's the program I use to design all my patterns. So I put together a short uh, video series here where I'm going to take you from the very beginning of the concept and the design in Corel Draw all the way up through the finished uh, project and uh, this is what we have in like this little heart box. So in this video that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and continue the series and put this little box together. So if you want to follow along, uh, take a look at my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and you'll be able to find the, uh, the pattern for this little box and uh, also the other videos in the series. Here's a close-up of the project we're going to build tonight. You can see it's just a small uh, heart-shaped box with a little decoration on top. And uh, it's simply a uh, uh, two-piece construction with inner and outer walls. And I'll show you the techniques for uh, cutting this box, uh, including some stack cutting to make everything go a little quicker. Okay, with that, uh, let's get together with the supplies and we'll get started. Let's talk about the supplies we're going to need for this uh, little project tonight. Obviously you need the plans, which you can download from my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. You're going to need a couple different species of wood. Uh, in this case I've chosen, I think this is Peruvian Walnut. It's been laying around for a while and I can't remember. But you're going to need a darker uh, piece of wood and a lighter piece of wood. In this case I've got a couple pieces of quarter inch maple that we're going to use. Uh, now, for the inner and outer walls of the box, this Peruvian walnut is about four quarter, and the thicker that this piece of wood is, obviously, the thicker your box is going to be, or the deeper. Uh, so you could take this up to uh, probably six quarter uh, and still be able to cut this project. And then I also have a smaller piece of wood, I believe this is also Peruvian walnut, that we're going to use for the ornamentation on top of the box. Also, as always, the clear box tape, some temporary spray adhesive, and a little glue. And uh, with that I'll go ahead and uh, affix the pattern to the wood and uh, we'll go from there. When you download this pattern you're going to notice that uh, there are actually uh, three parts to cut out from the pattern and I'm going to show you a technique tonight that will let you not have to worry about the two uh, solid filled hearts. Uh, if you don't like the technique I'm going to show you, you can uh, go ahead and apply these patterns to the wood and cut them out freehand also. But I'm going to use a stack cutting technique that will kind of speed the project up and as you'll see in the end it will also cut down on the amount of sanding we have to do. And in this heart, trying to sand to get the top and bottom flush into this, these uh, interiors right here is pretty hard to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the spray adhesive on the back of this pattern. And apply it to the wood. Also, uh, go ahead and uh, apply the ornamentation pattern for the top of the heart box uh, to this piece of wood. And to get started on this uh, particular box, that's really all we need to do. And uh, I'll show you here in just a little bit after we get our interior uh, drill holes uh, drilled, I'll show you how we're going to stack cut this to make it work. We're here at the drill press. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do our interior uh, holes that we can uh, cut out the interior pieces with. And I thought I'd go ahead and show you the strategy for how I'm going to cut this box out. I'm going to go ahead and drill an interior hole in the center of the heart. I'm going to cut the interior section out. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out the next inner wall of the box, in other words this uh, center line here on the pattern. Then what I'll do before I cut the outer out, I'll take our two quarter inch pieces of maple, stack them like this, put them together either using nails or two sided tape or whatever technique you like to use. Then I'll cut out the exterior so we'll be cutting the outside of the heart plus the top and bottom of the box all at the same time. 
and that will make them all a perfect match. So when we go to apply the glue and put it all together, everything will fit up real good without a lot of sanding. Okay, over here at the scroll saw now, I'm going to go ahead and cut out this uh, center section of the box. And uh, after we get that done, we'll uh, do the, in the inner walls of the box. I'm using a number seven blade, uh, happens to be a PS Wood Super Sharp. cut out and this piece is scrap so we can go ahead and remove this and we can get rid of this piece. Now what I'm going to do is thread the blade through this other interior hole right here and we'll go ahead and make the uh, next cut which happens to be the inner walls of the box. Finish up this cut back at the starting point, and we can go ahead and pull this intersection out, and that's going to be the uh, interior walls of our box. Now, what we're going to do is uh, going to go ahead and apply the quarter inch material, and we'll stack cut the rest. So, I'm going to show you the preparation from that, and then we'll come back to the saw. 